Now on to today's market movers with easy to follow futures and options trades from CME Group. Welcome to Market Movers. I'm Jim Urio with Scott and Mark. Hi, Jim. So, Scott, we've heard from Jay Powell in his biannual testimony before Congress. I thought it was a tiny bit dovish. Did you get what you wanted out of it? I did. But what was weird that I did not get, Jim, was, I mean, the experts, the pundits, the reviewers, if you will, seem to be disappointed. And, and I mean, all the Fed is doing, in my opinion, is following data, listening to the market, doing what they should have been doing back in October when the panic kind of started. So, to me, it's just been interesting looking at the reaction about how it seems like a lot of folks are upset that the Fed is so dovish and patient. But you you agree that it's changed considerably from a month ago. It has, and month, that's a great ago. point. And yeah. that could be one of the issues, Jim, is that we had a total 180 since last October, and the data hasn't gotten that bad, but maybe it was just that they were on the wrong side to begin with. Right. Now, before we dive into our trade discussion, I'd like to point out that these are trade examples, not recommendations or advice. The June tenure, which is what we're going to be looking at, those options, was trading at 122.08.09 when we priced these out. Go. Yeah, Jim, and it's been there for quite some time. I mean, goodness, look at the year to date on the ZN. Other than that small little range, there's been much going on. Agreed. So that's an interesting kind of market situation and why I found something that I believe is an interesting example to take a look at here. So specifically, Jim, looking at buying the week two March 122, 122 half call spread for 15 ticks in the ZN. Because I just believe that rates are going to continue to kind of go down here as the Fed continues to stay dovish. This trade expires March 8th. It was 235 to make potential 265. But to help pay for this, I'm going to add a little bit of a sweetener here by selling a 121 half put for about four ticks. So it takes my trade down to 172 to make 327. So I'm selling that put to kind of help pay for that call spread I'm buying because Jim, I think that 121 half level is very key in the ZN. I don't believe that we're going to break that level. And therefore it looks to me like I still want to be long that call spread, but selling that put to help pay for it basically locks me in. There. Okay. So one thing we got to underscore here, because people always look at selling naked options as being really risky. And there is risks involved with it. The risk is being long a futures contract at 121 and a half. But people are long and short futures contracts all the time, and we're talking to traders here. So as long as you understand that, so you risk your 170 bucks and you risk being long at 121 and a half. And if you can manage that, I understand that. That Very makes true. sense. And that's the one thing is it does lock me into being long there if it breaks that level. But right. again, based on where rates seem like they're going and what the Fed is telling us, I don't think we're going to get there. This won't surprise you a bit, but I'm the opposite of you. As an Shocker. example, I actually did buy this. I bought the week two the March 122, 121 and a half put spread, I paid seven ticks for it. It goes off March, March 8th. Same as mine, yes. 109 to make a potential 391. Now, my theory is twofold here. One is that if the Fed is planning on keeping short-term rates low, to me, it kind of ushers in a risk-on environment again, which it has done since they've pivoted, which makes having 10 years less rewarding. And it also, and I never, we never talk about inflation, but remember, a two account datum Fed sometimes is inflationary. It is, and let's face it, even if that data doesn't show up tomorrow or next month, the market will get ahead of that data, right? So that will definitely kick in. And that's when you could see the market off sides. But in the near term, since these do expire March 8th, both as far as the put I was selling and the call spread I was buying, I still believe that there's some leeway here for the market to kind of say at least bid up the ZN. Thanks for joining us on Market Movers. I'm Jim Urio, where we are helping to make you a better trader. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.